hey, welcome. In this video, I will be answering the most frequently asked data science questions on Quora, trying to answer all of them under two minutes. What is the difference between data analytics, data analysis, data mining, and data science? So this is apparently one of the most asked questions, uh, but we counted four things, but we can definitely come out with more titles than this. Um, so just to briefly answer this question, data analytics and data analysis are more about the data itself. So it's about getting insights from the data. It's about understanding the data and it's about drawing conclusions from the data. Whereas data science is more on the uh, side of trying to achieve a goal. So with data science, basically you are using the data for your purpose. You can use multiple data sources for your purpose, but in general, data is just a tool on your way to achieving a certain goal, predicting something or mo modeling some new thing that you're trying to do. Um, there's also data mining in this question. Data mining is just one step of any of these people might do something that you might do during your uh, data analysis or data science. So it is not actually a job title. How do I become a data scientist is another question that people ask a lot. This is a very open-ended and vague question. So um, I don't think people should expect really serious answers for this question, to be honest, because first, because everyone's experience is different. So depending on your background, the advice that people should give you is going to be different. And in general, you're just asking to some bunch of random strangers that you don't know. So everyone has different motives in life. They might be promoting something. So in general, you want to take answer to these kind of questions with a grain of salt. But in general, I have uh, a framework in mind. Like if I ever wanted to start again, what I would do is to first, and this is a step that a lot of people neglect, make a plan for your learnings. First, understand the field on a high level. What do you need to learn? And where is your limit to learning? Because if you go endless, it's just endless. You will learn and learn and learn. I'm still learning every day at work. So draw your uh, plan. Do you want to learn basics of machine learning? Do you want to become an NLP uh, specialist? I, I would suggest that you actually become an NLP specialist after you start working, but anyways, draw your limits, make a list of what you want to learn, then start learning. Then take some courses, study, maybe some maths, but depending on what you need to learn. Do not go too deep. And after that, after you have some fundamental knowledge, after you feel like you are starting to learn things, start practicing right away and do not stop practicing ever. Just keep doing some projects, keep uh, gaining some uh, data science experience and that's always going to be helpful for you. And at the end, just showcase what you built. Create some portfolios or portfolio projects. You can have Jupyter Notebooks or some Streamlit uh, apps maybe. You can see uh, how to make a Streamlit app in this YouTube channel too. I'll also leave a link in the description. But in general, those are the steps. You want to know what you should learn, go study it, practice it, and then show the world that what you know. What are the key skills of a data scientist? So I can easily count at least five. Um, I'm not going to give you very detailed skills because I have to, I want to point out again, the skills that you're going to need, especially technical ones, are going to depend a lot on the company that you work for. But in general, what you need is an understanding of the fundamentals of machine learning and fundamentals of data science, how to deal with data, how to clean it, how to explore it. And in general, the data science skeleton, the data science work. How does it work? How does a data science project work? Good. And everything that works in that. And then you need an understanding or you need the willingness and curiosity to actually learn, learn more. You want to always study with data science. There's a lot of things to learn. So you need the willingness and the ability to learn more when there is a need. Third one is communication. I cannot stress this enough. It is a very important skill in data science to be able to look at things in a different perspective, which is sometimes not technical, and explain to people what you mean by the thing that you're saying. You cannot, exp you cannot expect people to understand data science terms. Fourth is being able to code efficiently. You don't have to be a coder, you don't have to be a developer to become a data scientist, but at the end of the day, you need to be able to implement the ideas that you come up with or implement data science pipeline that you come up with. So you need to at least be on the level. You don't need to be a Python whiz, you don't need to be an R whiz, but you need to at least be able to implement 
the task that is given to you in an efficient way. And the last one is more of like a quality than a skill, I would say, but you really need to have a can-do attitude. I'm not really fond of this phrase, but I think it really describes the situation well. You need to have this attitude of, this can be done, I might not know how this is going to be done right now, but I'm going to learn it to kind of go back to the second point, and I will do this. So that's, I mean, it's really hard to appreciate how important this is when someone is just telling you, yeah, you have to have a can-do attitude. It's just because a lot of things are happening every day in data science, you really need to have the motivation to go forward. What is the future of data science? So I think this is an excellent question. I think it makes a lot of sense to think about this already. Uh, but if you're an aspiring data scientist, I think you should first worry about getting into the data science scene. But anyways, here's what I think is the future of data science. First of all, I think it's going to be AI ethics. It's becoming more and more important because AI is everywhere in the world and a lot of applications. We need a way to regulate the ethics part of everything. Second one is human augmentation. So a lot of people have been talking about how AI is going to replace people's jobs. Whereas I think what's going to happen is we are going to start developing AI systems specifically designed to work with people and not instead of people. So we will have AI systems that will help people do their job more efficiently and more accurately in a more correct way. And the last one is machine learning systems working with knowledge-based systems, so combined systems. So there are a lot of machine learning solutions out there, some of them very good, but at the same time, sometimes they still come short. And I think there is really big ambitions for what AI and machine learning can achieve. So I think what's going to happen is that people are going to uh, start tending more towards the knowledge-based systems and starting to merge these uh, two different approaches to uh, machine learning and we will have combination systems in the future. What tools do data scientists use? So again, <laughs> I think most of it is going to depend based on the company that you work for, but of course the bare minimum is that you need to be using Python or R, most commonly Python. You could also have Scala or Julia. I think those ones are kind of like up and coming recently. Um, you also might be working with some IDEs, which is a development environment. So for example, for Python, we use Jupyter Notebooks sometimes, but you might need to use some other environments where you can code. Same with R, it could be R Studio. Uh, other than that, you probably would need to work with GitHub and even if your company doesn't want you to work with GitHub, you still should work with GitHub because it's amazing to do version control. Everyone should be doing it. Um, apart from that, I mean, if you're going to go into really details of deep learning, etc., you might need to use Keras. Uh, oh, but of course, I'm sorry, if when you're using Python, you would need to use libraries. It's not just Python, you would need to use libraries like Pandas, Scikit-learn, etc., etc., NumPy. I'm not really familiar with the libraries in R. But um, apart from that, if you also want to do deep learning, you might use Keras, TensorFlow, or, you know, like a library like Hugging Face, where they have a lot of um, natural language processing uh, algorithms and methods or models already implemented. You might need to work with some cloud computing systems. It could be AWS from Amazon, IBM Cloud. But again, this would really highly depend on the company you work for. Maybe they'll just want you to work on Jupyter Notebooks and do not have nothing to do with cloud systems. So depending on that, you might or you might not. So I would say do not really put a lot of uh, time investment in any one of the, these extra alternative ones. Just try to get your machine learning knowledge, Python knowledge, and the relevant libraries knowledge up to a certain level. Okay, that was fast. I tried to talk really fast. I think I was under two minutes for every question, but uh, I mean, if I was like 10 seconds or more longer in one of them, please forgive me. Uh, I will likely do another one of those videos and I will probably link to it somewhere here. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and you can also subscribe. I try to be here every week bringing you information about becoming a data scientist, being a data scientist, and in general, the learning journey. Uh, check out the links in the description I have a link to my website where you can find a lot of free resources on the becoming a data scientist or my course, my free course, data science kickstarter course to find out your path. Do you want to be a data scientist, data analyst and also make a plan as we talked about on how you can become a data scientist, a step-by-step -step plan and I'll see you around.